Hello friends, my name is Faraz and I will today teach you how to create a business partner in S4 HANA. Now business partner concept isn't new in S4 HANA. Uh, they, they were already uh, and are continuously being used in supply relationship management and uh, CRM. So the business partner general data contains information about the name address similar to the general data as we used to have in ECC and instead of assigning a partner to an account group partners are assigned to a number of roles so that they can transact with the system yeah so the transaction code to create a business partner is BP which is this transaction yes and if you click an old transaction which is XT01 let's see what happens it will give you an a message that uh, the transaction is obsolete so you you see this message redirecting to transaction BP so you select organization and it will take you to the same BP screen by defaulting a relevant SD role so now the this these roles are very important to understand um, these roles are specific so we now with S4 HANA we have one screen to create master data like vendor uh, XK01 was the previous transaction we use BP and we select the relevant role for vendor uh, for customer this is the screen we select the relevant role here so it is it is more um, uh, easy for business users to by using one transaction to create business partners okay and um, uh, it was in e SAP ERP it was optional but with S4 HANA it has become mandatory okay so I'll tell you a little bit more about it when we start creating so let us let us uh, now create uh, a customer and uh, we s we select this so FLCU00 will create only f company code uh, data as you can see company code information is here if you need to extend it to sales there is another one which is FLCU01 okay the reason uh, we have different roles is because uh, with S4 HANA uh, S4 HANA also promises a better user experience with the Fury screens so with Fury screens each role is assigned to a user ID and that user ID is linked to a data object uh, when configuring a Fury app so that particular user will only see those screens which are relevant for them and not everything so in earlier days in ECC what used to happen was uh, uh, users were given a transaction code and they, they used to see all the relevant fees which were not all uh, even relevant for them okay so let's let's try and create this and then this is uh, grouping so what grouping does it it links a number range for you so like in ECC you used to have account group here it is um, grouping okay so I'll select the one which I know it's working because this is an IDES system and I'm using um, standard values okay so let us create uh, given the values yeah and then this English and say enter. Okay. And uh, now we go on to the company code. Given the uh, company code, again it was an idea, so I'm just using the one which I know it's working. And press enter. Now, now you might have noticed this. What is customer internal? So this is actually the customer number that you will use in the sales documents like sales order delivery document yeah because uh, the business partner number that will be generated is a master number and that can be linked to different roles and the role that I am looking for is a customer one okay so I'll just do this enter so a, a new number will be generated that will be the customer number so and save this Now you see the, uh, let me write it down also for you, the 
business partner is this number and customer is 2024 yeah okay now what is remaining is that we ha you have created a customer with finance company code data but you still can't create a sales order because you have not created or extended it to the sales use what we do is let's close this we go here and then change and then select uh, say um, FLC U00 now you see the sales and distribution tab has come so we go there we give in all the uh, relevant sales uh, area for um, that company code and press enter and then just give in some of the information related to sales and save so now you see uh, the customer is also now relevant for sales so just to double check we go to the um, table and see if the customers has been created correctly so we go to KNVV and remember the customer was not business partner is not the customer business partner is one number that can be linked to different roles and those roles can be either customer master or a vendor master <coughs> or something else so we give this number here yeah and then we select now you see this customer has been created so now you are free to create your um, sales order because the data has been created now another thing that I wanted to uh, highlight is that if you remember in ECC there was a transaction code to maintain the customer credit data and that transaction code was FT32 now here you can create another business partner role for that and uh, through and that is either you can do with UKM underscore BP or you can also select the relevant role here okay so uh, this is uh, this is a very quick summary of how to create your um, business partner and I think you might have understood what is the difference between a business partner and a customer and um, yeah so if you like this video you can subscribe and like uh, my channel because that will encourage me to, to build more or similar videos like that thank you all for watching